people, 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 people. Ke pa sa sa pa se wa de do. Welcome to Crime Time News. Now people, you've heard me said on many occasions. You could lose your life in Jamaica for the simplest of things. You could lose your life for nothing, none at all. However, people, in this case, in an incident that occurred, in a sentence, sentence be to be specific. A young man, his name is Charles Samuels, 37 year old, he was a bartender at the time he met his demise. Here is the details. Based on the information, it is said that Mr. Charles Samuels, he went to an establishment, specifically a restaurant in St. Anne's Bay. He placed an order, ordered some food item. He also requested some water, a drink of water. I am assuming that it would be tap water since you have to pay for spring water. It is said that when he requested the water, he got into some sort of verbal altercation, domestic dispute with one man. The man's name is Mr. Charles. Mr. Charles Roger, sorry. Rajesh Richards, excuse me. It is said that the verbal escalated into physical. The physical, Mr. Richards draw a knife, juck him in the neck. He was passed out, gone upon the spot. Mr. Richards was taken in at the Paul Paul station. Now I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to what the SSP for the era has to say. His name is Dwight Powell, so therefore he can confirm exactly what I am saying. And I saw Mr. Samuels today was involved in a domestic dispute with one Rajesh Richards, 27 years old, of Bamboo Centre. Mr. Samuels had gone to a business establishment, a restaurant in the town of St. Anne's Bay, where he ordered food item. He also ordered some water and was told that there was no water that was available on that particular day. He subsequently engaged in a domestic dispute with Mr. Richards, and during the dispute, a knife was brought into play by Mr. Richards, which was used to stab Mr. Samuels in the neck. Now, people, based on what you heard from the SSP of the era, Mr. Richards will be charged for the takeaway of Mr. Samuels. Mr. Richards, he is 27 year old. He is from Bambo, that is in St. Anne. Mr. Samuels, he is from Priory. Mr. Samuels was a bartender, so therefore I guess he would know about customer service. However, what he should also know is how to be professional. Now people, here's the thing. One man, D-E-A-D, -E the next man gone, in at the big yard. More than likely, if he's convicted, he is going to get several decades. Unless, of course, he pleads guilty to the charge of M-A-N-S-L-A-U-G-H-T-E-R. That is yet to be determined. What is sad about the situation is that I could understand that if there was some sort of water that healed and give you eternal life. However, people may have talk about water from the top, water from the cistern, because more than likely this was not spring water because you would have to pay there was no sorts of dispute. However, what this does, it speaks volume about the type of services in which a lot of these restaurants are offering. Because truth be told, if you are having a restaurant, you're selling food, you should make it accessible to your customers who pay for food. If they want a drink or water, you put in a cup, you put in a mug and you give them. They should have access to at least that. If they cannot pay, for the spring water which is for sale so therefore you are supposed to make it convenient for your customers however what we find with a lot of these restaurants in jamaica them only are sell food they don't make water accessible you can't get napkin you can't get salad dressing you can't get any little minute stuff that should be coming with the service so people at the end of the day we see say one man gone one man lock up just because of some sorts of water. 
Now people, what this also speaks, it speaks volume to the lack of professionalism that we have in a lot of these restaurants. Now people, I was not there, so therefore I cannot put it into context. However, me just I say, a soft word, turn it away wrath, grievous words, stir up anger. Had there been some sorts of professionalism, had there been some sorts of less aggression, more than likely this would not have happened. However, what we find in Jamaica is that people are mad, them sick, them angry, them head no good. They kick off, they tick off. There is no sorts of bridge of communication. People would rather handle everything with violence and people with sister. In this case, that is the case. Point blank and period. And the next thing, people, based on the fact that Mr. Richards was charged with M-U-R-D-E-R, -E we could come to the assumption that Mr. Samuels was not the aggressor, even though he might have said something. However, people, at the end of the day, if you are conducting a business, you are not supposed to be cussing with the customer. You are not supposed to be fighting with the customer. And people, like I said, I was not there. However, based on what the Popo might have heard, they made a determination that this was not self-defense. The man that lost his life might not have been the aggressor, so therefore them charged the man that was conducting the business. People, this is very sad. Point blank and period. Now people, the next thing that is popping in the news, it seems as if the throat bossing syndrome it is on and popping in Clarendon. We say so that youth Russian took away the mother and her four children. However, people, fast forward less than 48 hours ago in a place called Lionel Town that is in Clarendon, like I said. A 67-year-old lady, her name is Pamela Gregory. Based on some information that I got, she is a returning resident. Cannot validate or verify, but I think that there is something into something. Based on the information, it is said that about 8 a.m. in the morning, 24 hours ago, her body was found in the house. The people um, summons the popo. When the popo reached, they saw the lady in a very bad state, the throat bus. It is said that the person of interest or the suspect is her husband, 69 year old. When the news went on the scene, he was seen being escorted into the Popo vehicle on his way to the Popo station. Residents say, these people are always quiet. I have never heard any sorts of argument, verbal altercation, physical altercation with any of them. So we are surprised. We did not expect that these are people that we respect. Now people, truth be told is that a lot of people live double life. A lot of people, them show one face in the crowd. However, when the doors are closed, they put their partners through living hell. This might have been the case in this case because, let's face it, if a man and a woman are argue, and instinctively, I am not saying that it is right, so don't twist up my word. Him draw for something, him lick her, she lick him, vice versa. Him joke her. Different thing. However, in this case where it seems as if him joke her up and then decide, say, him go put the ice in the cake, him go bust her throat. You have to deliberately go out your way. It shows a heights of anger, a heights of evilness or demonic running through somebody for them for actually bust the throat of their wife because this is said to be the husband that did this. He is a suspect, the only main suspect. Now people, when you look at the ages of these people, the wife, Pamela Gregory, 67, the husband, 69. These are people that are in their retirement age. I think that the age of retirement is 65 in Jamaica, don't quote me. So therefore, they're supposed to be in a stage of their life where they are chilling, taking care of grandkids, 
they on them porch in a them rocking chair and just uh, enjoy their last days. Not force riping anybody's D-E-A-T-H, but me just uh, say, them supposed to be in a the chill, chill time of their life. They are not supposed to be in any sorts of anger, contention and fight stage of their life, at this stage of their life. However, people, what this speaks, it speaks volume of the ill wind of demonic and evil spell that is all over Jamaica and people. You know what them say? A ill wind does nobody any sorts of good. So when we see a 69-year-old husband take out him 67-year-old wife, this only tells you that mental illness, aggression, Aggressive, barbaric mentality is in most Jamaicans and people. We've noticed that it has been amped up since the big C situation. And I am not going to blame anything for it because at the end of the day, everybody, a man, a big man, big woman, they are responsible for their own deeds. Not going to say that it, not might, it might not be have been influenced by anything, but me just I say, at the end of the day, you responsible, you make conscious decision, you're going to know what is wrong and what is right. And there is no sorts of rights or justification for a man, especially an elder man, to take out his wife just like that. So people, here it is again. This lady, if she's a returning resident, might have went overseas, put in all her years of work, don't know if there was any sorts of miscommunication with the husband, them lose contact, them lose love. People, me no know. However, whatever it was, whatever was said, whatever was done, there is no sorts of justification for a man, 69 year old, taking out him, 67 year old, or as a matter of fact, for any sorts of man at any sorts of age, taking out anybody. It is wrong, 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 point blank, and period. Now, people, the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called breaking news, breaking news. If you look at your screen, you're going to see a picture. This is the picture of some guns, an AK, an M to the 16, and also a submachine that is said to have been found today. The 5th of July, 2022, in a community called Canterbury. Canterbury is in St. James. It is said that this was some sort of joint JCF, JDF military operation. During that operation, these tools were found. So people, whenever we can take off any sorts of assault rifles like these off the street, it is always a good thing. It always saves many lives, especially when it is accompanied by rounds cache of ammunition such as these, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.